are so glad you're here. Chatterboxes, you have just been welcoming people and talking to people and meeting new friends, new people that like to make cards. What a, what a wonderful evening. Way to spend a Thursday evening. If I don't remember to tell you, you still got to go to work tomorrow. <laughs> so it's just Thursday. I know we're usually here on Friday night. If you are new here, we are the Craft Roulette is the ultimate paper crafting card making game show challenge that is live almost every Friday evening, sometimes on Thursday, sometimes on Saturday, but mostly on Friday. And we are so glad you're here. We've saved a spot for you. Thank you so much. We do um, like to ex we do like to encourage you to wear stretchy pants, be comfortable, have a snack, have a beverage, just relax, and sit back and enjoy it. Because we don't teach, and <laughs> we don't sell, we don't do anything except have some chatty time with a great crafter, which we have on tonight, Gina K. Which I know a lot of you are here. You're already going, Gina, 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 and she'll be with you in just a minute. Do want to give a shout out to all the people that sent in cards last week. You've been enjoying the slideshow, I think, before the this show started. I wanted to show you we had 190 cards sent in. This is 100 cards. This is what 100 cards looks like. So we had double that. I didn't want to count 200. So digitally sent in last weekend. It's going to fall over and you're going to hear a smack. But anyway, it's going to be okay. But uh, that's just incredible. We broke a record. Our record was 165. So 190 was a lot. And it was very fun to watch all those different interpretations. Kisses on your brains all. Those names of the people that did send in cards will be on the giveaway board later in the show. That is a common... Later in the show is a common occurrence. And we call it... Lits. Yes, yes, yes. And they will be eligible for some giveaways. So that's that. We would like to say give us a thumbs up, please, if you wouldn't mind, and share right now with a crafty friend. If you have a Facebook group or an Instagram following or anything, even if it's two people, we would love to meet your friends because we are enjoying meeting you. All right. We do want to give a shout out to Lee Kendall, who had a birthday last week. I didn't realize it. Happy birthday, Lee! We're so glad that she's been watching the show since the beginning and before watching me on other ventures. So we want to give you a great big happy birthday. I would spank you whatever many times <laughs> if you were here. So, spin sponsors. We have some great spin sponsors. I mentioned the giveaway. Well, we have Angie Blum's Digital, Digital Designs sponsoring our giveaways this month. She's been great. She has a wonderful, wonderful gallery to choose from. Gina Kay, you know her. She's been giving away a $100 gift certificate every week this month. Unbelievable generosity. And Penguin Palace, who has wonderful, cute little... Um, I got one of their digi sets from about London, and it's just adorable. Little bear in his little outfit. So anyway, check those all out. Next time you're doing a crafty purchase, we really do appreciate you going to our spin sponsors. You can find them under Associates on craftroulette.live. We at craftroulette.live are not sponsored by any spin sponsors. We are donate we get donations from our beautiful patrons. They give us a little something, we give them some extra content back and we have a wonderful relationship with them. We, we so appreciate our patrons. Um, we want to welcome four new patrons this week. Lisa Acker, Gloria Davis, Don Brenner, and Supreme Doom 56. You sound very daunting, <laughs> but I think your cards are beautiful. I can't figure out Supreme Doom. I can't say it normal. I can't say it with a happy little chirp in my voice. Supreme Doom. I have to give it some authority. I'm, I look forward to meeting you, Supreme, on one of our patron calls because I think your personality must be interesting. Want to give a shout out to Mary Ann Hill for the jumper that it, Mr. Mike is wearing. And he is also wearing his beautiful star shirt by the House of Detizio. Yes, if you are new here, we aren't completely whackers we're close we're close and we do have a lot of tradition right here on craft roulette and we so just bear with us we are almost to our third anniversary and we've just collected those things those traditions so uh hopefully you won't run away 
But anyway, we do have some merchandise with my shirt like this. And we even have a new one with the super glue guys. So check it out over there on our merch tab. Um, so you guys want Gina? Start start giving me some Gina's. 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 From the snowy hills and dells of Wisconsin, we give a warm welcome to Gina K. Yay! Hello! Hey, everybody. <laughs> There's all those Gina's. <laughs> <laughs> That's so sweet. <laughs> they came out. They did it. I can always they count did. on them. <laughs> They've got their phones up like this. They're oh, calling they're my Gina. friends. They, they are, are my friends. They? Yeah, I missed they the memo real. about the stretchy pants. Yes. We have a theory that we are not chubby, but that we have a lot of imagination and creativity around our waistline. It just kind of settles there. That and so sense. we wear our stretchy pants so that we don't crush our creative muscle. <laughs> oh, goodness. I'm telling I you. I wish I had gotten that memo. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, we truly do have a lot of kind of one-off traditions here at Craft Roulette, but we are so glad you are brave enough to join it. Thank you I'm for very coming. Excited. Oh, I'm very excited. Thank you for having me. For the two people in the audience that do not know who you are, could you give <laughs> us a brief synopsis of who you are, what you do, and why you're special? Oh, I'll tell you well, I can special. answer the first two. Um, well, that. my name Third. is Gina. I go by Gina K. Um, and I have a company called Gina K Designs, and we do all of the same, you know, the stamps, the dyes, the stencils, all of the things. And um, I've been crafting for well over, oh goodness, well over 25 years. I've been making cards. I started my career as a demonstrator for one of those in-home party planning type of things. I think you did too, didn't you, Mary? Mm -hmm. Yes, I did. Yeah, yes. And um you know, at one point during that process, the company changed their career plan and I changed mine and I started my own company. And uh, I've been making uh, YouTube videos since 2000. And well, I've been making videos since 2006. My first video that I ever made, my first crafting video was on something called Google Video that ultimately became YouTube. Yeah, yeah, oh, that's how that amazing. was YouTube. That was the start of YouTube. They called it Google Video. So you know what? That makes me old. <laughs> Pioneer. Yeah. <laughs> Pioneer, Pioneer in the industry. Yeah, okay. that in a fairly young industry. <laughs> that sounds much got, better. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You didn't the wear the white skirt history. or anything, or the white. Yeah, that's no. cool. Um, <laughs> I remember when I was doing that other the home party thing. The internet was pretty new. Yes. It wasn't, I mean, I would say, do you have an email? And they're going, what's that? Right. <laughs> it was, yes. Well, okay, I guess you don't have one. But uh, so it was, and the forums, remember the forums when people would describe a card, like you move, you do this stamp and you put it one fourth of an inch from the left side and all, and you tried to remake these cards and it was crazy. And yes. um, it was, yes, and, that was the day you didn't have pictures. AOL. AOL online and everybody Yahoo uh, groups, right? And we chatted through AIM. <laughs> it was AIM. a long time ago. <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> yeah, then you know, and so the younger crafters come along, and they they're like doing these incredible things, and they've only been making cards for three years. And I was thinking, was I that slow? And then I realized, no, they've gone to Gina K school and they've gone to Jennifer McGuire school <laughs> and they've learned from the best in their own little craft world on their computers. So they have just shoo, skyrocketed with their abilities. It's just, I, I felt better about myself after I realized that they're, yeah. they were just advanced because they had such great teachers. Well, so. and, you know, I think that the internet has been a blessing to all of us because not right. only has it helped us learn quickly, but it's connected us. And so now right. we have friends all over the world, which is so special. It is. And we always have, I haven't, I don't know if she's here tonight, but I bet she is. We have a lady from Sweden, Christina Brome, and she stays up all night long to watch us live every week. Oh, that's so I know. Sweet. And she's super, super talented. So... Uh, we just love all her little cards. She has sent in over a hundred, never missed a week. And wow. um, her cards are like little museum pieces. They're just wonderful. So it's just, and it's so cool to see different people's 
styles that we get to see and enjoy. It's a real special treat for me. Um, you've had a long day. You were yes. live. You were live, <laughs> live earlier. earlier. Yes. <laughs> Tell us yes. what you did li- earlier on your live. Well, earlier we had a brand new Gina K Designs release. And so whenever we have a release, we do an online release party and our illustrators join us and they're just filled with all kinds of inspiration using their new products. So we did that today. And then once we got done that, I changed my shirt, got a quick (laughs) bite to eat (laughs) and got ready for tonight. Sometimes those peanut butter sandwiches come in real handy. Yes, they sure (laughs) do. (laughs) Well, we're going to get to the crafty part of the evening here in just a few minutes, but you had a question for me. I do, Mary. What is is craft roulette? You know, let's tell the people. Thank you guys for being here, Mr. Producer. Well done. Gina Kay, let's have a wonderful evening. I'm so thankful to meet you. Let's find out what's craft roulette. What is craft roulette? Craft Roulette is a live paper crafts challenge show where the goal is to complete a project that has been randomly selected by the spin of a wheel. There are four categories we spin for, project, colors, element, and random. Each category has 24 possible options with a combined possibility of 331,776 unique projects. Whoa. We're live every Friday at 6.30 p.m. Central on YouTube.com slash Craft Roulette. Please like and subscribe. Each week we bring on a special guest crafter to create along with us and share their unique take on the challenge. You can play too. Complete a unique project of your own using the same four parameters set in this episode. You'll have 48 hours to contribute by submitting pictures of your project through the submission form on craftroulette.live. Contributions are featured on marygunfun.com's weekly episode blog and the next episode. Let's recap last week's episode and submissions. Yep, that's what we do almost fr- every Friday night right here on Craft Roulette. But remember, you got to go back to work tomorrow. <laughs> it's going to be so hard. I and Gina Kay and I were talking before the show, and I was going, you know, I could actually go out with my husband on Friday night. We haven't done that in three years, <laughs> so that might be happening. I don't know. We do like to celebrate here on Craft Roulette when we like to celebrate you guys on Craft Roulette. All those cards that you carve out a little time for to design for us and share with us it's very special and we like to say woohoo to you last week we got 190 cards <laughs> amazing now we are up to 12,495 cards digitally digitally sent in over almost three years of time just remarkable look at all those pins drop in no chris in south america this week i hope you're okay chris she's almost always in our one south american but she's almost always there, so I hope she's okay. This was my card. The four parameters were a card for a friend or friends. The colors were blue jean plus two. We always give neutrals. And then we had starts with F. This is a family-friendly show, so we all the cards did start with friendly, family, friendly Fs. And we had stacks for our random parameter. You guys did all sorts of different ways to do those stacks. I enjoyed it. You had die stacks, you had animal stacks, you had stencil stacks, you had all sorts of stacks. You you just work out all these parameters so magically. Your starts with F, so many varieties. It was fun it was fun to watch them come in with all the different formats <laughs> that you sent in. I was going to make a list, but I got sidetracked and um, didn't get it done, but it it was great. Your blue jean colors, you went from the dark blue to acid wash and all the colors in between, plus your the two colors you chose were great. We had Sarah Liz Starkoska on last week. She was a delight. She's an English teacher in uh, school, in, in a college in Nebraska and so she was a lot of fun she had she loves crafting she made these cute little bears she stacked them right up they were furry that was hers if you're wondering they were furry 
<laughs> All right, ready for the slideshow? This part is on a timer. We're going to celebrate our first timers. We're going to celebrate our zero heroes. That doesn't mean that they're zero in our books. It just means that they have sent in enough cards to have a zero at the end in their ones place. Then we are going to celebrate our leading ladies. And we do have some new people that new to Club 52, which is a meaningless club, but we love it anyway. Let's roll, Mr. Producer. Kim S., we'd love to welcome you from Texas as a first timer. If you can keep your mind on how they figured these out, it's really fun. Tracy T., welcome. We're so glad to have you. Cute card. Denise G., so nice to meet you, and thank you for sending in your card. Angie, we are so glad to meet you and your kitty. <laughs> your upside-down kitty. It looks like my kitty. Kim Rasmussen, we're so glad to welcome you to Craft Roulette from Alaska. Sherry B, thank you for sending in this beautiful card. It looks like one of Gina's kind of cards, doesn't it? It's pretty. I was going to practice. Nilu Fa Apple ah, Fowler. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Welcome. It's a great card. Lori M from Brooklyn, you took the those blue jeans literally. Very cool. Marilyn from Texas, welcome to Craft Roulette. You took us under the sea. Pam K from Wisconsin, welcome to Craft Roulette with your pocket card. It's very cute. I like that one off, off the ground. Laura Mosby from New York, first timer with a gorgeous card. Marilyn B from Wyoming, our first Wyoming. Yahoo! We're down to one state not having a card from. Lorraine from Vancouver, British Columbia, we welcome you. Thank you for sending in your card. Amy D, a first timer from Indiana with a cute stack of cups. Gloria Davis from North Carolina has sent in this gorgeous blue flowered cup or card, not cup. That was last card. I'm so far behind. Melissa B is our first zero. Oh, I don't think I had that right. Yes. No, this is, um, yes, it's right. Zero hero. 10. Ooh. Tony T, 20. Thanks for fixing that number thing too. Sharon Castor, formerly from the Red Chair, has sent in 40 cards, and this is gorgeous. Agnes Hearn from Oregon has sent in 50. Remarkable. My sweet friend Agnes, she's a great glitter fairy in our group. Jen Zay from New York has sent in 50. And I talked about this one on our Tuesday night show. Kendra Morgan from Florida is also having her golden, golden, golden zero hero night. Well done. Laura Ellis from England has sent in 70 cards. <laughs> That's very fun. And Shackles from Australia is a big Gina fan, and she has sent in 80 cards. Gorgeous cards. Christina Brome has sent in 110 zero. She is a zero hero with 110 in a row cards. Santa in denim. Vicky Ruda with 110 also. She went back to mice. Sir, the epic Smurf Murphy has sent in 112 consecutive cards. She is a leading lady, as is Jackie Muller from South Australia with 112 cards. Kathy Herring, hats off to you, girl, with 116. You are our leading lady, and you have been for a long time. It's great. 5K, now 6K, Lamone has sent in 118 cards. Ellen Card Monkey Jarvis, I hope your eyes are doing fine, has sent in 129 consecutive adorable cards. And Patty Beck, our leading leading lady, has sent in 146 consecutive cards. She started when our show was on number five. Welcome to Club 52, Kim Bright with 52 consecutive cards. Peg P with 52 consecutive, or not necessarily consecutive, but Peg P's 52. And Debbie Hansen from Bismarck, North Dakota with 52. Club 52 doesn't have any perks. It doesn't have any discounts. It doesn't have any special lounges. It doesn't have any frequent flyer miles. It's just fun to know that you have sent in a year's worth of cards. And we thank you all. Kiss your brains. We precious, You're precious to us. And we thank you so very much for brightening our days with your great inspiration. 
Now, if Gina K is ready, we'll bring her back. She looks ready. Ready for a nap, I think. <laughs> Just wow. kind of like, she's in a no. long day. I'm kind of like, No, my, my head is exploding from all of those beautiful cards. <laughs> yeah, so they really fun. are pretty. Yeah. D yeah. Did you have some fans in there? Like yeah. um, Ann Shackles is a big fan of yours. And um, I see a lot of your influence. She hasn't been making cards for all that long but she's gone to Gina Gina school and <laughs> she's learned a lot so um but it's great it's great there's so many different styles we have mixed media we've got grunge we've got clean and simple we've got them all yes it's fun yeah I I like looking at them and then looking at the parameters and trying to figure out where they did each piece it's very right. interesting very creative brains Sometimes they mine also, works. <laughs> <laughs> you're going to be fine. Um, they um, they can write in the description if there's something that we can't see right away. Not oh. that we're going to go slap their hands or anything, but it's fun to look first. You're right to see where they're. What did they do for stack? And what did what is their F in there? Um, but then to check it off in the description is sometimes very helpful because some of them are kind of cryptic. They're kind of yeah. hidden <laughs> and they enjoy that. Yeah. They get, a, <laughs> they enjoy pulling my leg and trying to make it so that somebody can't see, well, where was that label? Oh, it's hanging from his swim trunks. Oh, I see. <laughs> so it's just, it's, it's a fun exercise. A creative exercise is what we like to say it. Well, it is time. If you're ready, shall we see what that parameter look board looks like and what Mr. Yes. Wheel looks like? Yes. If you are here for the first time, that is our parameter board. It mostly My stays the on. same. Yeah. <laughs> it mostly stays the same, but we do change it every week just a little bit here and there just to keep it simple and fun and fresh. But we will be spinning for a project a color a color set an element and random and then we will be making a card using those four parameters um we don't tell you how to do it <laughs> we don't tell you what to use we just let you have fun with it um sometimes it, the ideas will come fast sometimes they won't but they are little art projects and so we like to just say have fun with it go express yourself but do include those four parameters when you do because you can play along with us you have 40. Oh, oh, before you do have to go to work tomorrow <laughs> because tomorrow is Friday. But that also means that you have an extra day to send in a card because usually we have our show on Friday and then thir Sunday night at midnight is the deadline unless you're a patron. So you have an extra day. We should see a lot of cards, don't you think? Yeah. So um, we also do have patrons, like I mentioned, and they get to um, decide some vetoes. And that means if if they if we land on a vetoed number, we'll spin again. If you think you can use the vetoed item in the in your project based on the parameters that we do get, you are welcome to it. This is going to be a little bit confusing for those who are new. I know my. I would be head, deer in the headlights kind of thing right now and just be going, I don't get this. I don't get this. Just hang on. We're going to work you through it. You too, Gina. Okay. <laughs> so, so hang in there with us. So for vetoes, our patrons have vetoed for color first grader, number 22. For element, they do not care for shop, number three. And they would not like to have tiles demanded to be made on their cards, number 19. Now, we like to give you, our guest, a choice of something that would ruin your night. Is there something on that parameter board that would just make you go, I don't like that? Just one thing. Just one thing. We're not <laughs> that nice. Just one thing. <laughs> um, I would have to say um, run or running. I'm not athletic. And my card making is not either. <laughs> then <laughs> runs or running is off the board. We okay. also like to say, ask our guest now, this is kind of new. If you go to play roulette, you put your marble in the little hole or on chips on the table. And you so just. Use the marble. That's the roulette. Oh, it is? Yeah. I, I've never played. I've only played craft roulette. Um, <laughs> But anyway, you get to decide what you think would be lucky, or in our case, what you would like to, the wheel to give you tonight. Last week, Sarah Liz got two of her wishes. Ooh. So, 
What what would you like under project, for instance? Well, under project, I would definitely put my chip on your card choice. That sounds <laughs> Smart easy. Girl. Smart girl. <laughs> so that would be my first chip. My second chip for colors, I think everybody knows this about me. Even if you don't know me, just from my logo and everything else, I would pick teal plus two. I put it on there uh, for you. <laughs> for elements, uh, flowers. I'm a flower girl. So I would pick flowers. And then yeah. for random, I think I would pick wood grain. Interesting. I thought maybe you'd go paper because I or uh, pre-printed or something like that. Book page like or something. Like the old book? Yeah, book page. Yeah, I'm I thought still you recovering might from page. that video. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Fair enough. Well, that would make a beautiful card. And um, I think everybody could make a beautiful card out of those four parameters. So we'll see how, oh. what Mr. Wheel feels like. Let's okay. give him a warm up. Yep, we're getting some cowboys in there. <laughs> <laughs> and for project, we will be making, will it be your card choice? Not looking like it. Hinged. It has to be have some sort of hinge. We are going to talk about all these things, so just be patient with us. And for colors, you always get the neutrals for free. Black, gray, brown, tan, cream, metallics, white. All those are freebies. 19. Craft background. Ooh, you like that. You like colored pencils and craft background, as I recall, right? I do. Or craft, yeah. But you could have... Yes, we'll talk about this. And for element, will we get flowers? Okay. Flowers. Come on, come on, come on. Transportation, your second favorite. No, that's not. No, it's outside your window, though. Oh, okay. So yeah, you can I do flowers. flowers can be inside my window. <laughs> <laughs> it's better than transportation. And for random. <laughs> I gave myself a little heart attack there. <laughs> 16 oh now this one's not the favorite of everybody but faux leather okay faux all right leather. Well, okay well i think we can work with these actually we have always been able to work with these they're sometimes not easy first on first blush but they are always doable yep yep um I think I saw Desiree going. Are cards hinged? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they are. So if if you want to, you can have the card of your choice as long as it's folded. See, we're so nice here. We just seem really hard to get along with. So a fold is a hinge? It can be. Oh, uh, explain. I can do that. <laughs> You can do that because, <laughs> as I said earlier, this is an art project, and there is the Google literal interpretation, and there's also this crazy stretch that we love to see people do, but not necessarily meet, have to have them do, which is the artistic creative interpretation of what those four parameters are. So if you had hinge Google, you say, what's a hinge? And he would say, Google would say the little thing on your door right or something that connects something else right so or something that folds open but you can take that more artistically and just make it a card perfect or you can have two panels for instance and just have them on a little folded hinge what else would you call it that little thing that folds you know <laughs> it it's a hinge, it's a, right? It's a hinge. It's a hinge. <laughs> it's a hinge. The faux yeah, so you can. Got me stumped. The oh, faux that's leather. a good I'm one. Gonna, yeah, I'm gonna There's come a... up with something though. I got. I think oh, I, have I, I know it. You know, it's kind of like um, wood grain in that it's just going to be a text. It can be just be a texture, right? Um, and it doesn't have to be real. We had we had blue jean for colors last week and a lot of people took the color parameter and used it as a element in the card so this one we really do have the element of faux leather i i've seen people do like with the craft paper ball it up wet it crunch it up run yep. it through the that's a real common way to do it um i think sarah last week was saying that she had some real faux leather and she had it ready in case she needed okay. it. 
And uh, but I think there's just it's going to be most likely a technique. Is that what you're thinking of? Faux leather. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think so. I think we can create something that looks a little leathery. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else. People could put a, you know, you could have like a leather tie, a faux leather tie, even on it if you had some brown ribbon that you kind of. I don't know how you do it. Or burlap, how you could do that. But maybe, maybe you could make that happen. Um, but so there's different ways to bring that in. Another thing on Craft Roulette is that you don't have to have everything standing out as a big shiny object. You can fit them in sneaky ways. Um, they don't have to be like the big the big draw, um, the big focal sure. point. You can fix them, fit them in in different ways. So, outside your window, you thinking flowers? Why not, huh? I'm thinking maybe flowers. What? Just maybe? <laughs> <laughs> what? I need, to, I need to think about it for just a minute and um, got to look around here. It doesn't right. say actual window frame. It just no? says outside your window. So, but you could have a you window could have frame. you could have a window frame. You could. And I think we'll probably see quite a few of them. Yeah. And it doesn't necessarily mean literally what's outside your window right now. You could have something outside your window when you were on vacation or outside your window when it was spring instead of so dreary and brown like it is here. It's so right. brown. <laughs> and you're so white. So you could have snow or you could have a desert scene. Or um, if you live in a city like Heather Huang, you could have a busy, a busy street scene. So right. there's... There's so many things you can do. It just, when you first see them, though, you go, oh, I don't know. <laughs> and then you get this. And then craft background. I think that's going to play in with the faux leather, personally. I think we're going to get. Can you mix? So can can my faux leather can... include the craft background? Can they be yes. blended together? You can double dip all you want. Okay, good. Yeah, yeah. And this Great. is one of those color parameters that means that once you accomplish craft background, you can add whatever colors you want on top of it. Sometimes okay. the colors are a bit more restrictive. This one is wide open. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So if you want 149 colors on it, you can do it. Okay. But if you're good with just monochromatic or just one or two extra colors, you can do it. This is a Perfect. fun one. I think this will be pretty. Yeah, sometimes the Sometimes they're... The parameters lean toward whimsical things and sometimes they elegant things, which I don't do well. And um, so sometimes it's nice when you get something that's just your own thing. Definitely. You feeling a little more confident now? Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm excited. She's a player. My, She's a my, player. And all the people that are here, which, I mean, they're all so sweet and so supportive. I'm just looking at some of the comments. Yep. I think... A lot of them know me, and they know that the harder something is, the more fun it is. So I'm ready for fun. <laughs> well, wonderful. Well, what we're going to do is we are we have a wonderful, very sophisticated infomercial to show the people. While we get our goodies, you let us know when you're ready to come back on, and we'll get this thing started, okay? Sounds great. Well done. Let's do okay. it. Okay. <laughs> Does card making ever wear you out? Are you just having one of those days? Do you ever say to yourself, I wish there were more craft roulette on each week? Well, have we got good news for you? In Review is like part two of Craft Roulette, which features you, our card contributors. It'll be easy to find because it airs here on our Craft Roulette YouTube channel. We go live almost every Tuesday evening at 6.30 p.m. Central, and we do a number of fun things during the show, including Mail Call, where I share some of the nice cards and goodies people send us. Our Card Showcase, where we take a longer look at some of the contributions sent in from the most recent episode. And our Who Done It Mystery Game, where I recreate a card from the most recent episode's gallery, live on air. 
Everyone in the live chat gets to try and figure out which card I'm recreating. So, if you want more of what we do on Craft Roulette, you'll love our show in review. The Who Done It Mystery Game is just a game, and we do not actually solve mysteries, but we do actually solve mysteries. The show is supposed to be on Tuesdays, but we reserve the right to reschedule as necessary. Mary will not always know what she is doing, especially with buttons and or math. Stretchy pants and snacks are not required, but advisable. Please bring a friend. Too much fun for one person included. All right, and we're back. Oh, we are. We are. We are. Okay. Oh, both of us. Oh, good. I'm not on. Well, that's hello. wonderful. Hello. Hello. <laughs> well, our hands are on. Our hands our are hands on. Our hands are on. Okay. So I really need to put my glasses on because I can't see much now. Oh, now I see everything. <laughs> oh. Okay. <laughs> so you think I have a future in infomercials? <laughs> I saw that. I think you do. I definitely think you do. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Just, I right. say, when the first one came out, I said, you know, children, if you, my children, if you were hoping to have a sophisticated mother, it's not this week. <laughs> so, <laughs> so sorry. That's how it goes. All right. All right. What are you thinking? I'm think I brought out some craft paper. I've already started wrinkling up a piece of craft paper. Um, I'm not sure what else I'm going to do on this craft paper, but I'll figure out something. And I'm going to do something uh, super crazy, Mary. What? Are you ready? You I ready? am so ready. Yeah. I what? have a stool here that's made of leather. And I'm going <laughs> to ink it up and I'm going to stamp with this stool to get some texture. <laughs> Do it. Do it. Do it. Oh, I love my goodness. it. And then I'm looking here through my um, my well, dies. Then I'm going to sit on it. Ta Tom, yeah, you're going to have to come and sit on it. <laughs> <laughs> I might use my window die. And I might do oh, some sure. ink blending through my window. And then... She's coming my... together pretty fast there. Yeah. I think yeah. I'm going to have, like, a faux leather textured wall, which is the background of my window. That would count, mm -hmm. right, guys? Oh, would it'd that be beautiful. Count? Excellent. Yes. Okay. All right. Absolutely. I think that would count. Okay, good. Okay, so I think that's what I think. First thing I'm going to need to do is cut a panel out of here. Let's do that first. What are you doing, Mary? Well, I am ready for some tulips. Um, I saw some tulips. I was at I had a girls' day yesterday, and we saw some tulips. And I was just and I had this wonderful moment when I realized, hey, I planted tulips last fall. I'm pretty darn excited. I'm going to have tulips this year. And so I am going to, I've got my background. I'm going to make this the faux leather. I'm going to work it a little more so that it's softer, just like you would a hide. And yeah, then I'm going to cut really some great. just random flower shapes and put tulip shapes and put them on my faux leather with some sort of, some sort of greenery and such. So I think we're, I think we're pretty good. I think we've got some ideas and that makes me feel so much better. <laughs> Definitely. That well, moment. my hinge is going to be my card, although I thought it might be kind of cool to, I had these sitting in my drawer forever, these brads. Oh and yeah. And I thought it might be fun to make the top of the card look more like a hinge so that it would oh, look yeah. like it's actually opening like a hinge. So we'll uh -huh. see. I also have these screws. Aren't these kind of cool? Look at these screw brads. I don't know those if you are. can see those, but that's like a Phillips head screw. So we'll see. We'll see. Yeah. I think yeah. Mary's background is going to rock, actually. I I, we, hope. we hope. We yeah. <laughs> hope. I, I, uh, it's, it's okay. I usually do pretty simple, but... <laughs> well, we have a little okay. time, right? How long do we have yes. for this? Is it time? As, as much as, as we need. want. Oh, well, that <laughs> that's good. Piece okay. of cake, right? No pressures. There's no pressures. This is just all. 
This is fun. so. I'm gonna t I'm gonna take this stool <laughs> and I'm gonna ink it off the camera. <laughs> oh no! I lost my headphones. Hold on. Okay. Okay. Right. There, I'm back. Is this oh. new territory? The stool this? inking. Yes. <laughs> stool inking. This would be a new technique that I might have to. <laughs> I might have Copyright. to show again on YouTube. Stool inking because... might not be the best name for it. <laughs> That doesn't quite that sound is true. right, does it? <laughs> Should workshop gonna, that one. I'm going to try this with this warm cocoa ink and see how this works on the press. Okay. All right. So I'm actually inking the stool. I have to be honest with you. Tom brought this stool over to show me the leather. And then he was joking around. He's like, you could use this as a stamp. So I have to give him some of the credit here. Yep. Yep pretty smart guy See, he gets off he gets off the um tech duty a little bit and his creative juices start going crazy exactly yeah. okay i'll be back i'm i'm on the ground here with a stool <laughs> tom take a picture <laughs> okay oh i'm hoping That's this works fabulous I'm okay sure this is the texture i got oh my gosh that's beautiful that's kind of cool huh yeah. I think I need a little more texture. I'm going back to the stool again. <laughs> oh my gosh, I hope I new... remember to clean this because Tom oh, sits oh, on this. <laughs> He'll be walking <laughs> around with a brown stain on the back of his pants. <laughs> <laughs> well, stool you're using... is dangerous. That's, that is no. <laughs> you're, you're just going to have to come up with a stool, a faux leather stamp. That's right. That's For on those my people list, that love this. is this. very difficult. <laughs> <laughs> all right i gave it round two here i don't like that okay i think that's gonna work i think, I think it's gonna work it looks really cool this is it looks a little reptilian some, i'm gonna get a little windex here and clean this up right now I know. So I don't that's very thoughtful <laughs> <laughs> okay now i'll be back on the set oh my goodness this really <laughs> looks disgusting <laughs> a craft roulette okay. first it is it's craft roulette first crafting. leave it to me to stamp with furniture first it might be a stamping crafting first furniture. it's the <laughs> crafting with furniture gina k's new channel now live on thursday evenings what will she use next the refrigerator stay tuned I'm going to do a little ink blending over this, too, to soften my leather. Yes. Yes. <laughs> okay. Let's see how this looks. <laughs> the yeah, toaster. It looks like... Is that look like toaster? Yeah, it looks like faux leather to you guys. Oh, my gosh. If you say it's faux leather, we say good. We believe. Okay. Yeah. You don't, you don't have, Picasso, did his people look like people? No, they Not look always. like I feel right now. That's what they look like. <laughs> oh, a little disjointed? Yes. <laughs> a little square? Like one side right, of your face add... is down, down below the other? Exactly. That's so funny. But that is true. I'm going to add a little bit of dark chocolate around the edges, too, to make my leather look a little distressed yes. and hold it up to a cow. <laughs> I'll, I'll use a cow next time make him sit on it <laughs> <laughs> i kind of like this yeah this is we fun. have a, a technique that we have used here called crinkle inkle and it's when you take I, oh i could do it but it's when you take a crumpled up piece of vellum or paper and you dip it in the ink and then you put it on and so you get a really pretty texturizing effect and it's kind of you know we just have to make up things to make it work for us right exactly exactly oh and i see people making that smart suggestion to use simon hurley stamping foam which would have been brilliant oh. and i wouldn't have had to try oh. to use a stool However, the deed is done. <laughs> <laughs> There's no turning back. <laughs> That's right. All right, back to my die cutting machine now because I need to create a window. So I'm going to do that now. 
Well, I'm pretty I'm pretty impressed that you had thought of that. Mary, your card looks good already. It looks like it's almost done. <laughs> oh, I'll just I'll just put it. No, there's no race, no nothing. Just don't worry about me. Okay. I'll, you're doing fine. I'm trying to decide if I should use this window or if I should use this window which would give me more actual window space. But now it's going to cut all my faux leather away if I use this one. Mm, I'm going to stick yeah, with the one that yeah. looks like a window because we need to see that faux leather. And wait, i got to right. check all my parameters here. Okay, hinged. Right, Is right. unhinged a possibility? <laughs> <laughs> the mental state is a parameter. Um well, okay, you know, if you crap, can justify it. <laughs> <laughs> I made this in an unhinged state. Yes. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and, you know, it's true. There are moments that I have ha had that very same feeling on this thing. When all of a sudden it's I great. realize what I'm doing. I'm making a card that I've never made before in front of a bunch of people that I don't even know. And they've got these <laughs> these four parameters. I've got to do it. And I've got to make myself look at least decent. And then Mary, I go a I think unhinged. you and I come from the same school. Probably. Hard do the one of hard knocks? The, we, well, the one that, like, <laughs> I think we're just... We just think it's funny and we don't we don't care. Yeah. I mean, we yeah. care, but we you know, if it doesn't work out, it just makes it even more funny. And so far it's pretty <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> okay. It's well I'm there's just like try to... Mr. Produ for those who do not know who Mr. Producer is, he is the one that's doing all the graphics, all has done all the programming and everything to make this show look like it does. <laughs> And he is also my son, and um, he says things like, well, Mom, you could plan something, but you never can do it if you plan it. <laughs> so, and he's darn it's, right. Yeah, planning doesn't so, work. It does. It just doesn't always work. So I got to live up to it. I might I'm not gonna... say that. <laughs> you might have said that. I'm going to tape this down because I feel like it's going to move. And I tried to use a little masking magic, but I think... It's a little too wet for that. I put a lot of ink on there. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Good luck. Let's see what happens here. I had a wonderful experience yesterday when I was out with my girlfriends. We went to like um, a donation site because we we're high rolling that way. And for people that get rid of their old crafts and... Um, fabrics and different things and they had two brand new cuddle bug plates and mine were all busted up i've been working on this <laughs> for my craft my oh cuddle my bugs goodness. and i got uh-uh and i got two new ones for 13 dollars Oh my goodness, that is the find of the decade because they don't even make those anymore. They must have pulled those out of a back room somewhere. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe they had just give. I don't know how they got there, but I was just thrilled. I was like, I don't care. Even if it's, I think it's going to fit, but if it doesn't, I'll just bring them back and donate them again. Right. But they did, and I was so, so, so pleased. Because well, the machine still works. That's amazing. That's, yeah. That is a great machine. I had a cuddle bug for years mm -hmm. until I couldn't get plates for them anymore. So I, I feel your pain and I also yeah. feel your joy. Yeah. Yeah. I was I was super happy. And the other really fun thing that we did, <laughs> we got, was um, a rubber spatula that looks like a finger like this. And it's it was called Fred's Batter Spatula. <laughs> And it looks like a big finger, and we um, we all three got those, and it made me oh, happy all great. day because I think about it and go, oh, you guys, we got something fun. So yeah, how's everybody in the in the chatterbox doing? You're all you've kind of slowed down here, so you're you're either crafting or paying attention or something. I'm not sure. It's good to see so many new people and so many familiar people. You still have your your cuddle bug, Crafty? 
card maker. Neat. I have heard that you can you can take those plates to like Lowe's and have them cut plates. I don't I've know. I've heard that too, and I heard there's some generic ones that will work as well. But uh, I didn't get that far. No, me either. And you know, um, I always like to use things that people can get. Right. Um, when I make a video, because mm -hmm. um, people always ask me, well, what are you using? And um, so I ended up switching over to this Spellbinders Platinum machine, which I, I really like. It's a great machine. Mm -hmm. What I'm doing yeah. now, I'm just I'm just going to reinforce this window. So I, I cut another window out of craft. I'm actually going to just glue this one to this one just to thicken it up a little bit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. With a little bit of glue. Yeah, that's, what, it, I'm just gonna do. that's what I'm going to do. Help. <laughs> we all need a little help. I need a lot of help. <laughs> oh, I'm glad this stool is right here. I can just put my machine on it. People are wondering <laughs> where you got the stool. You um, need to start it, selling well, stools on your Yeah, store. well, Tom was sitting on it. <laughs> and uh, he just got up to point. show it to me, and I took it. <laughs> that is... So wonderful. He's got it back now, though, and it, it, I did take the ink off of it, so. <laughs> I'm going to cut this down a little bit. Danger just, wet paint. I like to layer dyes. Do you ever layer your dyes like this, Mary? I like to layer them to thicken them up a little bit. Yeah, occasionally. Um, I'm not I'm not much of a technician. I'm kind of a slam bam, thank you, ma'am, kind of card maker. But um, <laughs> occasionally when I'm doing something fancy, but it doesn't happen very often. But yes, it does help. All right. It's just, uh, I'm just impatient, I think. <laughs> Your son got you a, purple. Oh, nice. A good, in a good spot, Mr. Producer. My oh, camera he okay. Gina's just asking about your cam his, her camera if it's okay. Oh, sorry, I was checking yeah. the volume. That's okay. I just want to make sure I've, I've been moving it around a little bit by Zoom. I want to make sure I'm not too far out. Looks good to me. Okay, good. You could go in a smidge, but okay. it does look good right now. Mar Mar I'll Clark go in. You're perfect. I'm always worried about going too close because people watch me on a big screen and I don't have good skincare. <laughs> I don't want my pores to look that <laughs> what big. What skin care? <laughs> what skin care when you can make a card? <laughs> yeah, like, it's true. <laughs> it's, now, Ooh, Amanda Stevens that. put some anti-aging cream on her hands before the show. Well, I thought that was I did was that smart. too, but I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, that, that thickens it up a so, little I, Well, your hand... I've always thought your... Okay, here's something. I... I've always thought your hands look really pretty because you've got right? those long nails and they're, they move gracefully. And oh, I've always thought so you nice. had very pretty hands. And the other thing, when you're doing a video, not the lives, but the video, I always feel like you should be reading me a book because you, <laughs> just, you have this, this nice voice. It just carries you through and it, it just sounds like you're reading a book to me. And um, That's so sweet. I really like it. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you very much. Okay, I'm going to let my window go at that. My faux leather window. I'm imagining this is in a in an old kind of Victorian home. So yeah. we're going to put that aside. Okay. So, so I, got... I, I, I like what I just heard there. You are making a story about your card. I am making a story about my card. I love that. I love that. Do you often... Do you... Do you set make a setting for your card and, and never, uh, never, never. I have never done that before. But now I've got all these parameters, and I have to think like it's a story. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna cut a little bit off of this. <laughs> See if that. Oh, looks there a you go. It does, it does make you think a little differently sometimes. <laughs> yes, it does. It does. Oh, all righty. I'm going to use a little masking magic around here. We do Let's... have some lovely questions for you, ma'am. Whenever you are ready, let me know. Our I am ready. Get... Okay. Our patrons get to ask our guests questions. We'd... We love to get to know you as much as we can. 
but it's always about crafts. <laughs> but okay. Occasionally yes, yes. we'll throw in a personal one, but it's not very personal. But Gwen Simmons asks, hey, Gina, how'd you get started in the paper crafting industry? And you talked a little bit about that earlier. That I you, did. Yes, yeah, so so, that you were in the home bu- home party business. I was, but I didn't start that way. I actually thought that this whole card making thing was stupid. Um <laughs> In the be- in the very beginning, I got invited to a Stampin' Up! party by a mm-hmm. friend. And she said, oh, you have to come. It'll be so much fun. And I had gone to Tupperware parties and Pampered Chef parties. And I understood that, you know, mm-hmm. my friend was asking me to come. And I, I, I needed to be supportive and buy something because she was going to get some stuff. And it was something that she really liked. Well... I went to that party and I had no idea what was going on. The lady was showing us all kinds of things. I didn't know what to buy. I, you know, I just didn't know. I ended up buying a a stamp set that was grapes, real big Uh grapes. And I bought paint because back then Stampin' Up! sold paint. Hmm. And I thought I would, I thought I would, stamp these grapes as a border all over my kitchen that's how long ago that was was (laughs) yeah i thought it was gonna look great and then then i got they finally got them they came and i stuck them in a drawer and i never looked at them again (laughs) then about a year later i got invited to another stampin up party and i thought oh here we go again (laughs) <laughs> and I went to the party, and this time the demonstrator did a make and take. So you had to make a card. I yeah. was instantly hooked. Like, yeah. I wanted everything in the catalog. <laughs> and <laughs> and she told me, I well, you know, if you want everything in the catalog, why don't you become a demonstrator? <laughs> I had never even stamped before, and she told me I have to be a demonstrator. So I signed up for the kit. Yes. And uh, the rest was history. I ended up with a lot of people. I don't know, maybe 60, 70 people in my downline. I was going on cruises. I was having the time of my life. And all the while, I was just hooked on stamping. And that never got old. And it's still, to this day, will never get old. It's magic, isn't it? It really is. It really is. It is. It's that moment when um, every is everybody can do it, and they look at their card that they make, and they go, I made that. And That's it right. just brings joy. It does. And to be able to enable them, <laughs> like we can do, the fun. <laughs> is, just, is just wonderful. It's just icing on the cake. It sure yep. is. Well, that is funny. Um, when I first, I heard about stamping... Um, from a lady who I was trying to find classes for a a homeschool co-op in the 1990s. (laughs) And this lady said, well, I've got this brand new little hobby. It's called art stamping. And I thought, that sounds like the stupidest thing in the universe. (laughs) You and I have the same thing. (laughs) But I was desperate for teachers. And so... I said, I'll take it to the board and see if it's okay. And they said, yeah, we need teachers. Art stamping's in. And it was the longest running class of the homeschool co-op. And then I got hooked because I would go down. She'd have these boards and boards of darling cards. (laughs) And I would just like, I don't have time to do any art anymore because I always like to draw on things. I don't have any any time for anything. So stamping it is. So I got completely hooked too. And it's just a joy. It is a joy. I don't know what I'd so, do without it. Seriously. I know. What I would have an I would have a spare room. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> <laughs> and a spare living room and a spare dining room and a spare kitchen. <laughs> a spare dime. But it's <laughs> it's all over. It's not gonna happen. So too bad. But no, it's it's true. And I've told this story before, too. um, Because everybody can do it. 
older people can do it. We used to do things at assisted living. They could do it. There was a w- young girl that came to the United States for respite care from Chernobyl, and she had one arm stopped at the elbow, and then her other arm, she had her pinky in her um, thumb. She didn't speak any English, but I had her stamping cards with her pinky and thumb with little small square stamps. And she made beautiful stamped cards, and she was so proud of them. She was like seven, and she made them for her respite care mother here in the United States. And she was so, so proud of them. And it was so neat to be able to give her something where she could create with her limited abilities. And it was wow. just like, okay, I'll do it forever. That <laughs> you is just amazing. Carried, you just carried <laughs> me forever on this. It really was. It really was. She didn't want any help. She just went for it. But anyway, that was it. Yep. So stamping. Bring it on. I love it. I'm glad you I'm glad you found it and I'm glad we found it. So Yes. We're so so blessed by finding yes. this. Okay. And be- I'm gonna use before some we silhouette go too things. far, we have okay. we at Craft Roulette have a tradition about Team Orange and Team Purple. It turns out that in twenty twenty I was putting orange on the wheel more than most people liked as a parameter and they started getting fussy about it and the purple party emerged and the purple party emerged so these are our political factions team purple and team orange okay and so we always ask i know you're team teal in your heart in my heart team teal if you went to vote would you vote for the purple candidate or the orange candidate i would vote for the orange candidate Yay! <laughs> Me too. Sorry, purple e- purple people eaters. You didn't get. You know this why one. though? I have a reason. <laughs> oh, lay it's it on me. Tom's favorite color. Smart man. Yes, he loves orange. Am I right, Tom? That is correct. <laughs> <laughs> I do too, Tom. <laughs> I okay. do. It's just such a pop of sunshine. I'm going to get another stamp set here for a second. Let's see. Oh. Okay. I like that this is a one. Brilliant too. choice and very thoughtful. I think I'm going to use this Wild Blossoms stamp set. And I'm going to create kind of like a little. A little corner thing here out my window. Okay. I hope this I holds. Really. I think I'm going to use some washi tape to really make sure it holds. It's being held down with masking magic right now. Is it okay? And I'm going to hold it down a little bit more. Sit, stay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Lisa Taylor would like to um, say thank you so much for your all your inspiration and teaching. What are you excited about in the future of paper craft, the paper crafting industry besides leather stamping? She besides leather, leather stamping? stamping? <laughs> yeah, I said that. But <laughs> well, I am definitely loving foil. Foil, uh-huh. I think, is is really fun. I think sometimes it can get a little pricey. But I think, you know, we have kind of a cool, more economical way to do it. And that makes it fun and economical. Right. Um, What else? I, uh, boy, I just, you know, I just love how every year it seems like the color palettes just change. Mm-hmm. And there's the Pantone color of the year and everybody starts using new colors. And uh, I just, I'm always looking forward to what colors are going to start to really take off in the new year too. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Teal is, teal goes with so many colors like orange. So do you find yourself using it a lot or like percentage wise, do you use it more than 50% of your cards or? Right. Yeah, I I I put teal on a lot of things. I mm-hmm. I really do. I, it's it's on this card. 
Well, not really. I think I used Kinda, more of yeah. a blue on this card, although I think I started with a little teal. Um, but yeah, I use it probably. I have to, I post all my cards on Instagram. Uh -huh. And that really helps me because I look on my Instagram and I can see like, okay, all of these cards are exactly the same color scheme. <laughs> I need to move out of my comfort zone. I yeah. Really, I know that I know that I just said orange, but I actually have been really into purple lately. It is I've a great been doing color. a lot more with purples. Yes, it definitely is. It's a great color with orange. Yes, it is actually. It is, yeah. All right, let's see how this looks. Oh, I love your um, tulips there, Mary. Well, I'm ready for spring. I want some color real badly. <laughs> but I'll be complaining when spring comes because of this or that or the other. And I'll be saying, oh, I, winter was pretty nice. But that's just the lot of my life. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and always wanting what I don't have, I guess. Yeah. Uh, Cordelia Alderman asks... And this is this is something um, as a craft business, a lot of people don't have access to this information kind of thing. But because craft business is really a business and you actually work work and uh, you don't do crafts all the time, do you? I don't. No, I don't. No. I I craft every day for my business uh -huh. so i can't say that i i don't make cards all the time because i do mm -hmm. but i have a second hobby that i really enjoy well, i have a couple uh -huh. um i actually really like to sew and i don't get enough nice. sewing time in but i do like okay. to sew and i love to cook so oh, cooking nice. is a hobby of mine and um i always enjoy the weekends because i can try a new recipe or, you know, just mm -hmm. get in the kitchen a little bit and cook some mm -hmm. fun things. Well, there is where we part ways, Gina. <laughs> you don't like to cook? <laughs> I, um, I don't. Stephen is an excellent cook, Mr. Producer, and um, I'm real intimidated now by him. So I just like, okay, I smell, I smell garlic, I smell this or whatever. I don't have to worry about it. I can... I'm happy with popcorn, so it's great. But I admire people that are, love to put things together. Do you? But that's actually not Cordelia's question. I I kind of give a little precursor on it. What is your biggest challenge that you fa have faced in your crafting life, and how did you overcome it? Because there are well, challenges. I I think um, one of the challenges that I've had in my crafting life, and I can, I, I would bet a million dollars that I'm not alone here, is those moments where I have no mojo. It's mm -hmm. kind of scary, actually, mm -hmm. when that happens, when you just have no mojo at all. Um, and the way that I overcome that is I do busy crafting work. For example, mm -hmm. I will just sit and die cut a bunch of words or die cut a bunch mm -hmm. of panels and shapes or I'll die cut words and glue them together. Just a little busy work like that so that when my mojo does make a reappearance <laughs> <laughs> that I can, um, you know, I've, I've got lots of parts ready to go. Yeah. So that is... Um, that's kind of scary too, especially when it's time to design a new kit or a new die set. Oh, or yeah. mm -hmm. set and I just don't have the mojo. Yeah. So that's how I overcome it. I actually just sit and I think jumping in when you don't feel like it really helps. Mm -hmm. Even if it's just roaming around your craft room and just looking at all your stuff. Yeah. It helps you get the creative juices started. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I like, I love cleanup jobs. I love making things out of just stuff on my desk, which we call a mask, which is a mess, a hybrid word for messy desk. And, <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, yeah. It's, it's great. I think some of my most creative, one of a kind cards come from those kind of situations. And I love it. I made a hinge. I made a hinge on the leaf. I'm going to put a little bug underneath it. 
Oh, how cute is that? Yeah. I think I'm going to end up trimming like this I down a little do more. Something more. I love I that idea. Pretty. Well, thank you. Yeah. I'm going to tape this right on here, and then I'm going to trim it a little bit more, and then I'm going to make a hinge on the top of my card, I think. We have vase around things. Yes, we do. Well, that's, that's, um, that's, I've heard people do busy work like that before. And I think that's, it's nice just to be able to spend time with your stuff. Right. <laughs> because right. there are Put different. A good, a good show or a good podcast or something. A good episode mm -hmm. of Craft Roulette. That's the one. Or Gina. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there's a lot of content out there. Definitely. And you can you can just spend a lot of time watching that. It's like in your like you were saying, we do feel like we're friends with people that we've yes. never met. And it's um, we, it's nice. Okay, now I'm gonna give myself a heart attack and try to cut just a little bit off of the top here. Oh, it's looking strong. Yep. Maybe a little more. <laughs> Don't go too much. Don't be <laughs> like Lucy <laughs> cutting her Christmas tree. And then I gotta cut a little off the side here. Roberta Sadler would like to say thank you and Tom for helping thousands of us keeping up, to keep our sanity during the pandemic. Oh, uh, thank really, you. You guys, so true. People people uh, say that a lot, and I I appreciate that, Roberta. That, um, but I want you to know, Roberta, that you helped keep my sanity. I started going live not to sell anything, not to do anything more than spend time with crafters crafting and getting our minds off of everything that was going on. And you guys saved me. So mm -hmm. I just want you to know that. I think that is a mutual feeling indeed. And she um, also says, I appreciate you being open about your diabetes. How do you manage running a business, doing live crafts and chats twice a week, and keeping your health where you need to keep keep it all in balance? Yeah. Um, you know, well, first of all, I've got a wonderfully supportive husband, and mm -hmm. that is a huge plus for me. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I... I'm not a picky, when well, I should say, I'm not a picky eater. I'm a very picky eater, which actually makes my diabetes easier because I kind of eat almost the same thing every day. Uh -huh. And um, that really helps to maintain my numbers because once you figure out how to do insulin for a certain food, it it's fairly consistent. And so that helps me a lot. And I think I might love my business and my crafting and my online friends like you guys more than I love food. Um, I love oh. food, though. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> but, um, you know, I really want to be around for a while. I can't believe that worked. I just cut off like a thousand shreds and then I finally got it. Um, <laughs> but I'm, I'm not, you know, I'm not. It's not easy. I mean, you have no. to remember, and no, I will tricky. say this for myself as well as everybody else out there on the internet that you guys look at and, you know, wonder how they do it. You have to remember that we are all posting our highlight reel. We are not <laughs> posting our real lives um, all the time. I mean, I'm pretty frank with everybody, but still, I have plenty of bad days and, mm -hmm. um Plenty of difficult, you know, right. situations that I have to deal with. And I don't post a lot of those publicly, but um, I just want you to know that me and Mary and, you know, my friend Jennifer McGuire and all, all of us that are out here, we're very real. We're very human. And, and we have, we, we're exactly like you. We're the same. We're not any different. We are the same. So we, we even we make ugly cards. Oh yes! <laughs> if you saw my trash can, I wish I could take my camera off and show you my trash can, Mary. It is. It, can... it is huge. 
<laughs> so, so Natasha has what... already sent in her card. By the oh way, my congratulations. Natasha, I'm not even close to f being finished. <laughs> <laughs> and you sent yours in already. Okay, yeah, I think I'm you can watch the some... top of the screen and they will drop down automatic. It's cool. Anyway, Seriously. I digress. I'm sorry. Wow, Natasha, yeah. I am so proud of you and so impressed. <laughs> All right, Me I'm going to do wood graining, even though that wasn't on the thing. I'm going to okay. do some wood graining. Oh, I didn't stamp that very well. Speaking of poor stamping. Well, I know. I think it's um, it looks very glamorous and fun and all the time. And, but it is f glamorous and fun in that we get to do what we like. And that's that's cool. Right. That is cool. Jennifer De La Hoya asks i love watching your videos you're very you're very well loved never Aww. never doubt that even though sometimes i think we all have those moments where we go oh just know that when you get up your gumption and you get that camera on somebody is gonna you're gonna make somebody's day so well done Aww. Um, but Jennifer De La Hoya says, I love watching your videos and appreciate your professionalism and welcoming attitude. What do you love doing the most in your craft room? Is it stamping, stenciling, die cutting? What do you, what do you, what makes you happy when you're making stuff in, in your craft room? I think the thing I love the most to do is stenciling. I love ink blending. Any kind of ink blending really just gets me going. I love it. That would be my favorite thing. It's one of those things that always kind of gets you out of a funk. Uh-huh. Because it's pretty. It's, it's colorful. pretty. Right. I'm going to score this and make a hinge. Because I have to have a hinge. Yeah, you can use your card as a hinge. But I, I know, I'm, but I... I'm real proud of myself thinking of... <laughs> I'm proud of you, that. too. I think that's pretty amazing, actually. I'm going to score this right here. Where I scored it, I, can't I, even see I my actually. Yeah. I don't. Go ahead. Okay, um, Sophia Pudrajic, and that is that I practice really hard to learn how to say that, and she says I do it pretty well. Says, what is the origin of your last name? She's from Poland. She really is. She has a beautiful accent. I've spoken to her, and it sounds to me like it's Polish, a Polish sur surname. However, she lives in England, <laughs> but she okay. is Polish. And is it Polish? It is not Polish. It is actually Russian. Okay. And um, my name, my name is Gina Maria Aurelio. So my, I'm all Italian. Ooh, yeah, you know, you that's are. I got an Italian thing going. But my husband is Russian. Tom's Russian. So Call that me. is his last name. Yep. Well, cool deal. I thought it was probably Polish too. So, cool if it was all. Polish, if it was Polish, this is my understanding. I could be totally wrong, but my my understanding is if it was Polish, my last name would end with an I, and it ends with a Y. Okay. All right. Yep. There's those little tiny fancy yeah. tricks there that you can tell. Well, I'm using some teal in here because there wasn't a restriction. <laughs> Absolutely not. You go for it. Make yourself happy. Get some teal up at the top there. Okay. Now, how am I going to hinge this together? I need my craft pick. And I need a misty mat. You're doing mat. Great. Thanks. I'm going to use my mat here from my misty. I'm not quite done. And then... I'm going to poke some holes in here with my, I'm going to use my Tim Holtz craft pick. That one's really pointy. Tom, how do I measure? <laughs> I don't know how to use a ruler. <laughs> no, I'll, I'll figure it out. <laughs> I'll figure it out. <laughs> okay. So half of four and I a like quarter those big is numbers. two and an eighth. I'm going to do this kind of even here. So. Doesn't look right though, but I bet it is. Two and an eighth. <laughs> poke a hole in there. Oh, I want to come down. A math little card cards have helped cards me with my and math. Yes, <laughs> I, I would know. have no math skills at all 
had I not been making cards. I always feel terrible because I know that so many people in other parts, almost everybody in other parts of the world uses the metric mm -hmm. system. Mm -hmm. And I'm over here in my dumb American inches. <laughs> <laughs> Shh. I, I don't that. want any I don't want change <laughs> congratulations Stacy for sending in your card looks like it's pretty nice wow they're so fast I don't know they're little fast fillies and some foals too but fast fillies indeed so I'm gonna come in half an inch there, go. Right there. I hate to bother you when you're talking numbers. <laughs> but Cheryl Jackson, who is in Canada, so she may know some metrics. So C Cheryl Jackson, we had a Zoom call the other day. We were doing these dumb dad jokes, and she is in Canada. So she told me a dumb dad joke because <laughs> she lives to abuse. And it, she said, well, if April, April flowers bring May flowers, what do May flowers bring? I said, pilgrims. And she was like, you knew that? I said, it's an American joke. <laughs> we all That's do right. that in, at Thanksgiving. <laughs> oh my goodness that's, that's funny, funny. Yeah. <laughs> it was a, it's a good it's a good dad joke though but she asks, it is it's a perfect dad joke <laughs> if you mm -hmm. could never design or color a flower image again oh i'm sorry i didn't know she was going to talk so dirty uh what <laughs> what would you Let turn her to in. <laughs> <laughs> what would i do yeah if i could by never the way she says a... your flowers are beautiful Thank you. Um, well, honestly, I have quite an affinity for cute critters. I oh. love, I I love them, and I've designed several cute critter stamp sets. But for some reason, my audience does not like them as much as they like flowers. So, oh, uh -huh. I kind of uh, haven't. Uh, you know, I don't do them as much as I should. Okay, you want to see my hinge, Mary? Yes, I'm on. I'm going to come unhinged. No. Oh yeah. That and looks I use, great. I have little brads in there, so it's my, I've got hardware on my hinge. You are authentic. <laughs> you, Brian Dickey has sent in a card. Well done. Man. <laughs> I want to make you, sure that if I put that there, it's going to still open, and it will. Okay. All right. You know, metallics are not real hip right now. They're not on trend. Metallics? I don't think. Like, yeah, like the breads. They're not as used as maybe they were in the early century. <laughs> yes, in the early century, back <laughs> when Just I was going down ago. to the watering hole. <laughs> That's the one. That's the one. <laughs> Remember when we just had breads? And we used to I don't go know why, to the though. They're cool. Get them. I like They're them. They're cool, though. I like them, too. Okay, like so now I've got much. my window, I've got my faux leather wallpaper here, I've got my hinge, and now I need to think of a greeting. All right, so I think for my greeting, since I've got a That's little beautiful. splash of white, I'm going to add some white. So here's all my die cut pieces. <laughs> this is, oh. you can tell I haven't had mojo, because <laughs> this <laughs> is what I sat and did in front of the television for oh. Super Bowl. This was my Super Bowl project, yes. <laughs> Go Chiefs! Yeah, Go yeah. Chiefs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think I'm going to just do thanks. So this will be a thank oh, you looks, card. That looks lovely. I'm going to double up on that thanks to thicken it up how a little, my little bit. How are my ladybugs doing? Oh, that's so cute. Your little flowers are adorable. <laughs> I think they I'll are. Just They're really cute. White dots. That way I don't have to splatter. I'm not a good good splatter. I like control <laughs> too much. So, you know, Wait. you said go Chiefs, but you know, Mary, I'm yes. originally from Philadelphia. Oh. So I was well. not happy at that game, but... That's okay, because yeah. I really should be rooting for the Green Bay Packers. And <laughs> <laughs> for all my well, football friends out there, you know how that ended up. We're like 20 <laughs> minutes from the stadium. Are you? Yeah. That was yeah. That's very exciting. They, they are a great team. They deserve the win. 
They truly are. Um, this town is on on fire for them. They have uh, they are well Did loved. They become unhinged. No pun intended for a theme here. <laughs> I think they did come unhinged a little bit during the parade. Yes, yes, they were um, having some joy. Let me tell you. <laughs> we do have a rock star in our group, our patron group. Her, we call her Grandma Gay, and she has a sick puppy, and so she's oh, not no. in the chat tonight. But um, she always gets a question in every week, and we call it Grandma Gay's Thoughtful Question of the Day. <laughs> and she asks, when you turn a corner, what colors do you anticipate seeing? Okay, so then you have to think about where you are, what you're anticipating. Does it have to do with your mood? It's a big question. She always asks that thoughtful question. What do you think of that? So is she asking, let me understand the question first. Is she asking why I pick the colors I choose? I think so. Probably. So, you know, a lot of times when I make a card, I will think more about the person that I'm making the card for. So for example, my husband's favorite color is orange. So I like to put some orange in that card. Mm -hmm. My younger daughter's favorite colors are pink, like baby pink and lemon yellow. So I always do something in those colors. My mm -hmm. younger daughter loves black and red. She's very bold, my older daughter. Mm -hmm. And so when I make her a card, I always try to go for those colors. So when I sit down to think about it and I'm ready to make that card, I really take into consideration who the receiver is. Mm -hmm. Yep. And that's one of the cool things about making cards, isn't it? You can yeah, you personalize can it so much. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So I glued I mean, three of those together. Oh, that should be nice, nice and stout. Thick. Yeah. I made a card for my aunt for her 90th birthday, and I made it teal because that is absolute, or as she was a aqua, her absolute favorite color. And she liked that card so much, she put it out on her next birthday. <laughs> Aw, see? <laughs> that so personalization was, uh -huh. means so much. It really does. It does. I also think a handmade card... My mom always had an expression that she would say whenever she got a handmade card. First of all, my mom was really funny because my mom, and I've said this before, my my um, my friends know this, but my mom always viewed the size of the card as the amount of love. So <laughs> if I made a little A2 card like this, she felt like I didn't love her. So I had to make big <laughs> five by seven cards <laughs> for my mom <laughs> to make sure she knew that I loved her enough. Um but every time I would give her a handmade card, she would say, that's a keeper. Mm. And when she passed away, I found a box in her closet of every card that I had ever made her in my entire oh. life. And that is what's so special about what we do as card makers, mm -hmm. because we make this for people. And she didn't have any Hallmark cards in there. <laughs> she didn't have any Walgreens card. She didn't have any of that. But she had every handmade card that she ever received. Oh, Even sweet. little ones that my kids made that, you know, they hand colored with crayons when they were little. Mm -hmm. So we really do send a lot of joy when we send that handmade card. Yeah. 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 It's special. It truly is. It is. It's a crazy little hobby and it's special. It is. Yeah. So don't hold on to your cards too long. Send them to people because it really does brighten their day. I love getting a handmade card in the mail. Yeah, it, it's wonderful. You just had a birthday, didn't you? I did. And I got so many beautiful cards <laughs> from everybody, piles of them. <laughs> They're all over my oh. office. They're all over. And I, I love them. Every one of them. I keep every one of them that people send me. Yep. Yep. I think I know, I'm done. I do too. 
I think I'm done. Yeah. You did. I think you did great. Yeah, you think? I think I you do. did great. I but, love and, that. They're completely different. I got some a little ink on here. I'm going to have to either ink a little more or figure out how to get that off. But we'll figure it out. So I will walk us through my card. My hinge okay. is this little leaf with some ladybugs going to a picnic. Craft background is also, well, I have the craft background for the card. And then I also made it into my faux leather just by texturizing it and inking it a little bit. It's very, very casually faux leather. And outside my window, I planted tulips, and I can't wait for them to come up. So I'm excited about that. And that's my card. I do have one more tulip, and I'll probably put it on the inside. But that's for another day. So that is beautiful. I'm, glad, I'm glad with it. Yeah, did you it's put, pretty organic. I, I, I missed, did you decide on the little bug? Did you put the bug under there? I did. I put little ladybugs. Oh, oh my gosh, that is so cute. <laughs> that is adorable. You do have a hinge. I love I it. Do. That is so cute. All right, I'll make mine so, the same size as yours here. Okay. There we go. Right. Okay. Line it up. So my card, I cut a window. First, I actually stamped with my leather stool for the texture. <laughs> so it's the <laughs> same texture as the leather stool. <laughs> That's and, um, classic. <laughs> I used craft cardstock and I used craft cardstock for my card base, but then I I wood grain that. And gorgeous. then I cut out a window with a window die and I did a little silhouette stamping so you can see what's outside of my window, which is just some silhouette flowers in my sunset sky. And then I created a hinge here at the top by just putting a score line. And then I added some brad, so I have hardware on my hinge. Looks and that is good. my card. Yeah. Looks like we have a new junior, perhaps a new junior crafter, Wyatt, that just sent in a card. That's cool. Wow. And Look at all the pan. cards coming Look in. Look at all That's these coming great. in. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's going to be a, will we top 190? Woo. I think we're well on our way. You know, that's oh, I actually hope everybody a, plays. <laughs> I do too. I think that's actually a book binding card now with your hinge. By the I way, I think so too. Mm -hmm. I think so. And this is not my normal style. You know, I am more of a clean and simple girl. So all of this rusticness is not <laughs> me. But I actually really enjoyed it. And that's cool. another thing that makes craft roulette so fun is that because you have to do these parameters, these four mm -hmm. wheel spins, you uh, step outside of your box, step outside yes. of your window and do something a little different. So much fun. That's what we hope. We hope. And we hope that it's an enjoyable, <laughs> that it's not a stressor or anything, but it's just downright good fun. Absolutely. So. All right. Well, we're going to let you relax here just for a few minutes, and we're going to tell everybody how they can play, get a little bit of business done, and then we'll bring you back to say goodnight. All right. Thank you. Well done. You are going to want to play. You saw how easy it is. We step out of whatever comfort box we put ourselves in, and we make a card using those four parameters hinged craft background outside your window and faux leather if you are coming in late you might want to go back to the part where we spent just after we had spun <laughs> the wheel and listen to how we break that down so that you can understand what we talk about making an art project and your interpretation but you can just send that in to digitally to craftroulette.live there's a submission form it's real easy fill in all the spaces when you get to the confetti page, you know that you have successfully submitted. You have until Sunday night at midnight. If you are a patron, you have until next Thursday at midnight. So if you have a busy weekend and you still want to um, send in a card, that's how we do it. That's fun, too. Oh, my gosh. Next week, look who we have. Bitty Penny. Bitty Penny sat in for me a couple weeks ago. Last month. Was that just last month? She sat in for us and uh, when I was gone, and I want to know what it was like to be guest crafter <laughs> or the guest. I think I was wondering if she would just want to host and I could just sit back and be her guest. <laughs> but we'll let, we'll let her coast. It's okay. Anyway, we, she's a special friend to Craft Roulette. After that, we have our third anniversary with our buddy Crafty Al. We'll be looking forward to welcome Karen Berniston 
for her first time to the wheel after that and then christine bertram and her mystery card eye will be coming in and we get to welcome sandy ledoux after that and her first time at the wheel can't wait it's always fun and it's usually on friday do want to thank our patrons you do make it happen i got my I got my credit card bill again. This, they keep sending those. I don't get it. You know, I keep thinking, well, maybe this month it'll be, they won't charge us anything. But we did we did have some expenses this time, kind of big ones with the graphic card and stuff like that. So, But you guys covered it. So thank you. Thank you so much. We appreciate each and every one of you. We do have a Zoom call in April. It is on the 8th, and you are always welcome to, enjoy, or welcome to join us as a patron. We have a lot of bonus content and stuff. Some silly, some some educational, some silly, some more that's maybe a little silly, and some educational. But that is where we do our teaching, and we um, love having you visit and support us. We thank you so very much. I think there's going to be some confetti. There it is. That means it is giveaway time, and oh my goodness, people, we have had spin sponsors now since last June, and it has been so so popular. A spin sponsor is somebody who's giving away their good stuff to you guys for sending in a card. Um, if you sent in a card last week, your name is on that board. Some of the gifts are only for the U.S. Some of them are for international. So we'll see what we come up with. But first, our giveaway is the original giveaway, the OG, a handmade card with an itty bitty gift. This goes anywhere. I was talking at the post office this week and they were saying, well, sometimes we don't have airplanes going to places to go <laughs> to send things. I was going, how can that be? That doesn't even make sense to me. Bitty Penny. She's going to get a card anyway. I'll give her a card anyway. I will wear one. Yeah. Let's spin again. I do owe her one. I haven't sent her a thank you. I'm a terrible person. But it's the way it goes. <laughs> She'll have to wait for something. <laughs> so, the handmade card with an itty bitty gift. Oh my gosh. Lisa! Lisa! Cool deal. Let me know that you want it. There is a claim prize form on craftroulette.live um, under something. I don't remember. Under the show. So find that, fill it out, and let me know. You have until Sunday night, unless you're a patron, then you have till Thursday. Is that again? Oh, a goodie bag. Here we go. Well, right down the street, my buddy Lena Marie's going to get a goodie bag, and she loves getting goodies. So I will be happy to send that to her. I've known Lena since early century. And for a $25 gift certificate to Angie Blum Digital Designs, like I said, please think of our spin sponsors when you are making your crafty proj purchases. Oh, cool. Peyton. Peyton lives um, down the road in, in St. Louis. She is the daughter of Mara. And she sent in a card. Paid for, paid off to send that one in. Good deal. For a $100 gift certificate from Gina K. Such generosity from our spin sponsors. It's just marvelous. Just for sending in a card. It's so cool. Stacy! I'm not even sure who, which Stacy this is, so you will definitely need to contact me using the claim prize form. If you send it in anywhere else, I'll lose it. And I will be dis unhinged because I won't be know to give it to you. That's terrible. I don't want that. I want you to get your stuff. Don Wil Wilcox is winning a $25 gift certificate to Penguin Palace. Don, make sure you let me know. It's your now the ball is in your courts. Congratulations to all. Thank you so much for sending in cards. Keep them coming. We love seeing them. Love it. I think Miss Jean is ready to come back and say good night. Oh, you did it, girl. <laughs> It was so fun. Thank you so much. Yes. What an honor and a pleasure to be here with you and everybody. Honors are all, all ours. Mm -hmm. And, you know, Mo talking about Mojo, Craft Roulette, Roulette has old episodes. <laughs> and just getting the parameters sometimes is enough. Yes. And it can it's just enough to get you go to focus a little bit 
and go, okay, I can do this, I can do that. I don't like this. When you're doing it not for a show, a current show, you can go, but I don't like that parameter. <laughs> I'm going to pull in another one. But sometimes it's okay and it gets you started just to think, I can make this. I can make something cool. This is nice. I've got this set. I haven't used it in a long time. Or I just saw that set on your Gina K's release. I need that. That would be perfect for this parameter. We do have some parameter purchases being made. So <laughs> I know there's a lot of robots in people's stashes now because we had yeah. robot on for so long. You saw that one. <laughs> I, I do not have a robot. So I was really glad to see that one leave the wheel. <laughs> He was a lot of fun to he almost was. torment people, but um, it was he's been a he's been much maligned, but he's been vindicated with a hundred and fifty cards or something like that. So wow. if you ever do need a robot card idea, just look at one fifty one. I think okay. no one fifty. Yes. One fifty. Yes. Oh my gosh. Well we thank you so much not only for being here tonight, but for your generous um, gift certificates. That's Making some real happy crafters out there. We do appreciate it so much. My Tom, pleasure. I hope you enjoyed your evening of relaxing <laughs> back there, giving us stools to work with, new stamping <laughs> ideas. There he is. Do you have? Yeah. Did he have a word of the day today? Uh, no, never on a release party. Okay. It's all, all right. too stressful. <laughs> but there'll be another one Tuesday night. Maybe. We'll see. <laughs> maybe. Maybe. Yeah. Well, we have a bunch of words that we've made up. So, um, like mask and scute. Yes. Um, scute is a hybrid word for so cute. It's just scute. Oh, that's cute. And I do tell the people that are international, that's not a real English word. <laughs> so don't, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> don't try to look it up in a dictionary. It's not there. But um, it's all very fun. Thank you so much. I've enjoyed my evening with you so very, very much. I have too. Thank you, Mary. Do you have anything to say to our fun chatterbox before we kiss our brains and say good night? Oh, gosh. Thank you guys all so much for joining us. It was such a pleasure to be with you. I can't wait to watch the replay and read all your comments and all your ideas I'm sure that you shared. And I can't wait to see your submissions here on Craft That's Roulette. Right. That's right. They were, they're already coming in. I know. Well, one of our traditions, this Kathy Zilski, welcome to Craft Roulette. It's about time. <laughs> wow. Kathy. <laughs> no, that's fun. That's She's neat. She's one of my that's neat. besties. <laughs> oh, that's cool. We're glad to have you. I've watched mm -hmm. a lot of her videos, too. She's amazing. In her dining room. Her dining room mask. I don't think she makes mask though. She's so clean and simple in everything. Even her desk, I'm pretty sure, is clean and simple. <laughs> anyway, we do have a tradition here of kissing our brains, giving us a little self-love, a little pat on the head, say, you did it, you did it, you can do it, enjoy your, remember to go to work tomorrow, enjoy your weekend, crafting, whatever it takes. <laughs> so we just give ourselves a little nog, nog kiss, and <laughs> say good night. You guys take care, be safe. Thank you so much, guys. We'll read your stuff tomorrow. Adios! Good night. Good night. Good night. <laughs>